Some of you may know that I'm working on trying to get more comfortable in the gold wing, but I've got something else brewing this week. Hey, it's International Female Ride Day. So I'm hanging out, waiting for the Chrome Divas, a club I used to ride with like 20 years ago in LA. Anywho, um, we're, we're gonna kick off to Mulholland Harley together and see what's going on over there with some riding skills and stunt shows. And we'll see how the day goes. Come on along. Well, I guess I'm lone wolf in it. Um, well, it's time for kickstands up and I'm the only one here. I guess, um, well, I found this on Meetup and it was my old club I used to ride with years ago, but I'm guessing maybe they started out at each other's houses or something like that. But anyhow, I'm gonna get myself over there and nothing's gonna prevent this one from International Female Riding Day. Talk to you soon. And I wasn't really alone. I mean, I had little Sparky with me. This is my little Harley Davidson street bob. And no, that's not oil, that was water. And to be honest, I guess I didn't mind riding solo. It was nice to get out of the house and get on two wheels. So the first Saturday in May is International Female Ride Day, and it celebrates women riders. It's a day that encourages and empowers women to get involved in power sports. You know, back in 1970, there were five million registered motorcycles in the U.S., and most of these motorcyclists were male. Now, you know, it became really common for a man to operate the bike and for a woman to ride along right in the back. But eventually more and more females started buying and riding their own motorbikes. In 2009, I guess it was, 10% of all motorcycle owners were female. And by 2018, that number increased to 19%. This statistic means that basically one in five motorcyclists are female. So the dealership, Mulholland Harley-Davidson, had their cones up at the parking lot. So I decided to just scoot on by and see if I could find anyone else down the road. And sure enough, down there, it looks like I finally found a group of female riders, but they weren't on Harleys. They were on um, a bunch of Can-Ams, but that's all right. I guess they're in the special VIP can-am parking area that um, was set up by Harley. But anyway, I decided to park my ride and take a walk up and get inside and check things out. Well, let's see what's going on here now that we're at Mulholland Harley. So for a Saturday, let alone an event day, it seemed kind of sparse, right? There weren't that many folks around, and especially on an event day, what gives? Let's check it out. Shop the store, and then at 12:30 we're doing the video premiere for Delacro. Okay. Cool. Um, and then after that we'll do the raffle and give away the gift card, and then um, from there we're doing a group ride at two. So I had never heard of the Fast Babes organization before. Have you? Leave a comment. Have you heard of them, or are you one? Let us know. Let me know. Yep, a couple ladies here with their fellas. But honestly, that was about it. And it was really disappointing. I had such high expectations. I wanted to come and interview different ladies, ask them about their history of riding. I walked back down to chat with the folks in the Can-Am group, but they were already taking off, so I didn't get to interview them. Well, this is a bummer. Even the ladies on the Can-Am, um, the Can-Am group left. Well guys, so far, International Female Ride Day is a total bust. And just as I was about to roll out, the Chrome Diva Cavalry rolled right in. So apparently there'd been a change in schedule and they messaged me on Meetup, but I missed it. Will this save International Female Ride Day? Let's hope so. Like me, they were a bit frustrated, but a few more girls were showing up here and there. Look, there's two more. Oh my gosh. 
Anyway, I tried to console myself with a little retail therapy and shopping. Found this great shirt. It said get lost on it, but I kind of wanted to get lost at this point. I didn't want to wait around three hours. On the way out, I found these amazing guys who are mobile detailers that work with motorcycles and RVs and things like that, and they'll come right to your house. So maybe, like I said, not all was lost. Well, anyway, it was a bit of a frustrating day. Oh, babe, I'm back. I know. Where's your new patch? I don't have my new patch on. They just gave me a patch. Oh. You guys didn't have a sewing class at the Harley dealership? So because it was an, a female riding thing? Yeah, I thought you guys would be having tea and sewing. I can't believe them sometimes. I really can't believe them. So yeah, I got my patch and this cool sticker too. Is this my participation trophy? Catch you next time.